Hey guys, welcome to another video where I'll be showing you a great tool called Source Tree that's developed by Atlassian and gives great integration with Bitbucket and GitHub. So, why would you use this? Now, to answer that, if you have done anything with coding or software development, you may be knowing what Git is or probably you have been using it for years till now. Now, if you meet any developer, they would just say, use the git command line. It is way better than using the UI and it gives you more control, but typing each and every commands is really irritating. The next option that you have is GitHub desktop. And if you have ever tried to use it, yeah, GitHub desktop works, but you're gonna not be able to do anything more than cloning your repos, committing few changes and doing basic tasks. But if you wanna create pull requests, you wanna merge branches, you wanna create branches, you wanna resolve merge conflicts, it's really difficult to do it in GitHub Desktop because it doesn't provide a feature to do that. Now, it doesn't even come with a merge diff tool. So, this GitHub Desktop isn't of any use. Now, there are a lot of paid GitHub UI, not GitHub, but like Git UI softwares. Now, there are a lot of paid options for Git UIs, but if you want it free, then this is the best software that I've found and I've been using for more than four years right now. Now to get Source Tree, you can just go to Source Tree app and just click on the download. This will download the software. You can install it. The setup is pretty much easy. The best thing about this is it's being developed by Atlassian and Atlassian is known for great products. They are costly, but is there now i have opened this repo in source tree and it's basically a random repo that i found on the internet but this is what it looks like if you open a repo in source tree source tree gives you a nice ui where you can see the flow of all the branches you can see the list of branches your tags you can have multiple remotes you can create stashes you can commit and connect any diff tools that you want. Now, the reason why I use this because GitHub decided not to add a basic feature of merging branches in GitHub Desktop. So if you branch right here, let's say, I'll call it test branch. And if you wanna merge main into current branch, yeah, that's a basic feature and GitHub Desktop doesn't provide that. So I went out and found this really good tool. Now, this directly integrates with Bitbucket because Atlassian develops Bitbucket and Source Tree. So they have a really good integration, but it would work with any Git client. So if you go to repositories and click on repository settings, you can change the remotes that you want. You can add different remotes. Now, if you want to add your account or basically a GitHub account or a Bitbucket account, then you can just go to options. And this is my account right here. So I can just click add and select whatever account that I want. If you work in a company and use GitHub Enterprise, then that's going to work too. You can select either SSH or HTTPS. You can use OAuth because GitHub provides that. You can directly use this to connect with your GitHub account. So it's really convenient. And using this, you can access your entire organization's repositories right from this tool. Now, another thing that GitHub Desktop doesn't do is pulling from other branches. So you can just say master branch and just pull it and, and it's just going to work right out of the box. If you want to push it, then you can just select whatever branches that you want to push. You can change the remote branch name and all in all, it gives you a good amount of customization that you can do. And basically you can control the software as per your needs. And another thing, it comes with a dark mode.
so yeah if you have mercurial if you have get you can connect whatever that you want you can select your div tool that you want there's a system default div tool but there are like a ton of div tools that it has been integrated with and you can also obviously go with custom now if you are working with sensitive data it can be difficult to trust the authentication of a software or whether your data would be protected or not but as this is being developed by atlassian we can have a good trust on the software that it won't mess things up so i hope if you have been finding a tool for a long time and if you have been irritated by github desktop because it's lack of all the features then this could be your thing so that's all for the video thank you for watching this video if you like this video then obviously give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot and write in the comments if you want me to create a video on something or test a new software anything be free and thank you for watching this video